Hey, another quickie video here talking about how to repair your 1970 to 73 Mercury Cougar passenger side mirror. These mirrors were only used in 70 on the Eliminator and they weren't really designed for the Eliminator. Like so many low production cars like the XR7G, they weren't going to spend a lot of time making parts just for a small run. Instead, they grab parts from other lines. In this case, the 70 Eliminator uses a 1970 Torino mirror. And I sell these to guys all the time that have 69s or 70s and they call and they say, this can't be right, it, it, it doesn't look like the driver's side and it mounts in a different place and you sold me the wrong mirror. Sorry, that's what they did. They said, oh, look at this 70 uh, Torino mirror. It kind of works on the Eliminator and that'll make the Eliminator special. You have to go with it. Anyway, here's the common problem with these sport mirrors. I don't care if you're talking about Maverick, Mach 1, any of them that are manual adjust. Look at that. You slam the door, you go over a bump, you lose the, uh, you lose the adjustment. And, and don't gripe at Ford. Those, these cars weren't designed to last 40 and 50 years. They wanted them to last a dozen years, and they did last a dozen years. But in 2013, this is what you get. So we have the easy, quick, expensive solution, which for years has worked great. Just buy a whole assembly. Look at that. Nice and tight. Fits good. You get a nice optically clear mirror with no uh, scratches. All you have to do to change it is tip the mirror this way and put the Phillips screwdriver in there. One screw. Bang. You're done. But if you're like me, that's no fun. That's not a challenge. And this is made offshore. I don't want original FOMO Co. on my car whenever possible. Even though nobody will ever get back here and see. Nobody's going to go uh, judge at a show, going to put a mirror back here and go, oop, no Ford part number. Anyway, let's show you how to uh, change out, fix this sloppy mirror. Your first order of operation is get that Phillips screw out. Some penetrating oil is, is good if you've got an East Coast car, or even on some West Coast cars. That, that screw can get really hard to get out. You got one chance. You round out that uh, screw. How are you going to get it out? You're going to have to drill it out. So get a good quality screwdriver. Put uh, the tip of the head here on something firm and really give it the juice. Just lean into it. Yep. This one was a little easier than some. There you go. There is your assembly. There is that original casting number I was talking about that nobody cares about right there. C9Z, rah, rah, rah. Anyway, see that full moco label? I want that on my car whenever possible. Well, here's, here's the part you're not going to like. You're going to have to break that lens out. That's the only way to service this wore out joint here. And here's how you do that. And notice the original glass is only held in by little four little daubs of silicone. Now our replacement mirror comes with uh, double-sided uh, uh, adhesive tape. That's a great way to do it. Or you just roll this off with your thumb or get a screwdriver, scrape off that silicone, and uh, uh, use silicone again if you want to be a purist. Now, sometimes you'll see everything's intact here. It's just this has become worn. Well, we're going to have to get inside that joint to do some work. So let's go grind these peened over studs off. There you go, there's your socket that showed excessive wear. All I'm going to do is munch this a little bit. All I did was just barely take the crown out of this, but at the same time when I was pressing down, 
what I was doing is these ears were pushing out, so you're causing more resistance by pushing this further in towards the socket. Okay, here's part two. Okay, to uh, reattach this, I need to drill holes and then get some self-tapping screws. So it seems like every time I do this, I grab a different bunch of junk screws out of my drawer and a different drill bit. I'm sure you'll figure out what size to use. And I go ahead and go all the way through. Um, somebody that was very uh, meticulous would do this different. They'd only go the depth they needed, and then they would tap this and get machine screws. Um, I found this holds fine. There you go. Nice and firm. I choose to go all the way through. Um, you know, a person that's more of a perfectionist might not want those poking through, but do know that it doesn't seem to affect anything. Yeah, nice and tight for another 40 years. So let's put it back in the mirror. There you go, nice and tight. Look at that. All you gotta do is get your silicone out or your double-sided tape, put your reproduction lens in place, and you're good to go. Now, um, we also have the complete mirrors reproduction. And uh, the way you can tell their reproduction is they're nicer than original. Look how thick the metal is all around there. Look how thin the metal is on this NOS one. Look at all these goofy, uneven grinding lines on this NOS one. I mean, look at that, it just looks unfinished. Now look at the reproduction. Nice, smooth, finished. Also, on the originals, NOS, doesn't matter. Look how thin that metal is. And these bend easy, the metal is like soft. I could, if I wanted to, I could just crush that in with my thumbs. Take the reproduction, you got thicker metal, and you can't bend it in with your thumbs. There's two different types. The 70 has a D0OB number. That's not a part number, that's a casting number for the base alone. The heads are the same, Mustang, even in some of the Granadas, I think, are the same. But anyway, D0OB, difference is, if you were to measure them, you would see that uh, the 70 has got a eighth of an inch difference, or less, than the 71 through three. Here is a 71 through three. Same basic casting number, except look at that. They punched a zero around a one, that's kind of odd, D1, OB still, so why there's a one there, who knows? But really, you're never gonna know the difference. If you happen to find a used 71 to put on your 70, they're all the same. Uh, Torino, Cyclone, Ranchero, Cobra, and uh, 70 Eliminator is the D0, and then the 71 through three Cougar is the D1. So we got all these on our website, including the gaskets, the riv nuts. We even got riv nuts and rubber if you don't want to take the time to collapse these properly. Uh, NOS mirrors, used mirrors, reproduction mirrors, lenses, driver side, passenger side. Uh, we got the assembly I was showing you early. If you don't want to go through all this hassle and you just want to bolt in something, thanks for watching little extra here, uh, we're getting multiple dealers and some customers uh, asking, why are you giving away your trade secrets? I mean, we've been selling these for years. They bring good money, uh, it's easy fix, nice profit margin. Um, now that we've given you this trade secret, all you're gonna buy from us is this. Yeah, we'll make $1.80 on that part. Oh, I don't know what the profit margin is on this, but, but uh, we won't make as much money. 
Here's my philosophy. Uh, thanks, Andrew. <laughs> Here's the West Coast Classic Cougar philosophy. We feel that this is the internet age, the information age, and all this information uh, is going to get on the internet eventually. Why not be um, forward thinking and we're going to be the ones that put it on. We're going to do it in a professional way. Uh, part of the reason is I'm a car guy and when I f figure out a fun go around uh, I want to share it with my car guy buddies and this is a hobby to me. It started out as a hobby anyway but it remains a, a hobby so I want to share with my friends what I learned and ways to save money. Uh, you know like I said I like to use original Ford parts whenever possible. Um, here, here's, here's the real reason though. As a businessman I believe if we gain your trust showing you how to save money and not spend money on our website, maybe when it comes time to uh, when I say, hey, this is more expensive, this is the best way to do it, we're the only people that sell it, buy here, I know it costs more, maybe you'll believe me because hey, we were truthful with you and when we turned you away from a sale, maybe we're truthful when we say this is the way to do it. Anyway, that's my philosophy. Um, we're not making any money on these videos. We're not uh, putting any advertisement on these videos. Um, so I hope you get some enjoyment out of them and it makes your hobby that much more fun.